when it comes to taking a loss, how do you how do you deal with a loss and how do you not let it affect you for how long? How long till it's in your head, Mikey, and then you're just like, I'm done, you move forward. Does it linger to your next fight? Like how do you how do you deal with that? That's actually a really, really awesome question because the the best part about mixed martial arts is the lifestyle that we get to live where we only fight two to three times a year, maybe four times a year every now and again, now and again. And if you're, and if you built a great career and you, and you have great fight purses and you have good sponsors and you're able to make a great living, you don't want to be in training camp the whole year. You want to have some downtime. But on the flip side of that, that very positive is also a very big negative because we talk about the sport of wrestling or stand up comedy. Yeah. You, you might do two shows in a row and you might do a show five weeks in a row or yeah. five, you know? Mm -hmm. So you take an L one night and people are booing you or they're throwing whatever, whatever they yep. throw tomatoes yeah, at, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever yeah. at you. I've seen people throw and batteries just, at this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, he's right. got some and you just you, know, you, feel, you, feel, you feel like, hey, this isn't working out. I am, yeah. a, I am a loser, right? 100%. But then you get an opportunity very soon to get back on stage and right that wrong. Yep. Wrestling was the same thing. If I lost a dual meet on Wednesday, we we're going to wrestle again on Saturday. I can get back in the win column and I can move forward. So the problem or the, the, the hardest part about mixed martial arts is when you do take a loss, mm -hmm. Not only are you most likely in pain, maybe you got some stitches, maybe you got some swelling, maybe you're limping around, you know. You then you then you see all the media and then you see people's, you know, people's reaction and that kind of stuff, and you try not to let it get to you, and you don't get the opportunity to right that wrong for three, months. four, five, six, months. it's been eight months. So and and I and I actually I actually uh had a had a, a part of my story. I went six hundred and eighty eight days without winning a fight. Wow. I was the Bellator champion. I lost to Eddie Alvarez. I lost. I lost my first fight, and in that moment, that small guy from the small town, for who was taught to do small things, who I thought I had duct taped wow. to the basement of my mind, yeah, yeah, crept back in and said, "I told you you were an imposter. Wow. I told you you weren't good. I told you everything that they said about you was far false. Everything that you believed about yourself was false." And that loss turned into another loss, and then another loss, and I lost three three fights in a row, and I had to do a lot of work to get back to believing in myself and believing that I was created and destined for great things. So so the the great thing about this mixed martial arts life is we do get time off between fights, but it's you know when you take a loss, you know there's sometimes you take a you get an awesome win like my Tony Ferguson fight I was on top of the world I'm like man I'm kind of kind of ready to get back in kind of ready <laughs> yeah. to get back in there I would love to like keep this momentum going get get toward a title shot. Um, and then there's some wins where you're like, okay, I'm going to rest on these coattails for just a second. Let me, let me come out. Cause you got to remember you're, you're also talking to somewhat of a robot right now. I'm in training camp and I got to do all these things that I have to mm -hmm. do. And, and you wouldn't get the same me. Luckily I'm able to compartmentalize it when I'm able to have an awesome platform like this. And thank you for giving me this, but I am somewhat of a, a robot and you want to pull yourself away from that. My son doesn't, my sons don't want to. You know, my son's hap doesn't want to play in the backyard with a, a robot. When I go home this weekend, I'm going to be a little bit different daddy than I normally am because I'm in training camp and I'm focused. And I try to compartmentalize it, and I don't do a great job of, of it at the, at the same time. Same thing with my wife. Same thing with my, my new baby, Ace. Um, so Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Mike, and this is your second you, This is your second kid that you adopted, bro. God bless second. you, bro. Thank you. Good on you, bro. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, he was, born, he was born two and a half weeks before the Tony Ferguson. Oh, so, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, yep. uh, it's very powerful what you just said because, mm -hmm. all right, so if you play in the NBA, if you play in the NFL, the MLB, hockey, whatever, soccer, there's a game the next day, the next week, the next month. Yep. You go three, six, nine, 12 months yep. without a W, without a fight. Yeah. That's, I mean, in, in, in wrestling or UFC and, and boxing, that's got a way on you more than any other sport. Yeah. Right. It is, it is very, it is very tough. It is, and that's, I think that's the hardest part about it. And, and also from a longevity standpoint, you do take a loss. No matter what, we need, even if I went in there and got caught in a submission, it was just a, a choke or something somewhat benign and didn't take a lot of damage in the first 30 seconds. I still went the last eight, 10 weeks sparring two, three times a, 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 a week and I'm, taking damage i'm taking damage right now before the fight even happens and i've gotten very i think very methodical and, and smart about how i train who i train with the training partners that i i go with i'm not going to say oh hey this is a brand new guy who's a world champion kickboxer from amsterdam let me go ahead and test myself yeah. i don't need to test i i've done my tests people know i'm tough people yeah. know I, I i swing i swing and i'm fine uh i'd rather be training in a safe manner with a smile on my face in, in not in that fight or flight mode 
and be thinking about it. And then when I get in there, once again, going back to I can trust myself and know that I can pull that guy out of me. Well, so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.